Hi and welcome back. In this video we're going to talk about Paste Special. And if you are not familiar with Paste Special, I'm excited for you because this is a really handy tool and it's one of those things you'll find yourself using more often than you would have thought. So let's dive into an example and I'll show you how to use it and why it's so important. So in this example, this is our snow cone purchase order list. We have the date, the customer name, flavor, and you've probably seen those before, but I've now added in quantity. In other words, how many snow cones they purchased, the price, and the total. And this isn't anything fancy or perfect, it's just an example so that I can show you a few things. And if you'll notice here, first you'll notice that in this column, in these cells, we have a formula, and it's just D2 times E2. So it's the quantity column times the price for the total. And to come up with these quantities, I actually used a formula, which is rand between, and I used the numbers between 1 and 4 just for the purposes of it, this example. And when you do a formula like that, especially a RAND formula, it will update from time to time. And so what happens is if I go over here, and notice that this is three, four, 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 two, right? If I go over here and I insert a new column, notice that these all ch updated and it added a new random number. So instead of being three, four, four, two, it's two, four, three, three. And that changes our totals and everything. And you'll find yourself in the, this position a lot where you have a formula in a cell that is pulling information from somewhere else in that sheet or another sheet to come up with a calculation. And then you're using that calculation in another calculation. And so if something changes from the previous information or data that's going into that cell, then your total will be wrong. And you, and you can't have that happening. And the solution to that, the solution to locking in your data so that you're not always having it change on you is paste special. And so if I go to this and I go control shift down arrow, I'm going to select that whole column, see? And then I'm going to go ahead and go copy. So I can say control C or I can right click and say copy. And then while I'm selected in that same spot, I'm going to say paste, but I'm going to paste special and paste it just as values, not as a formula. So again, right now we have this formula in here, but when we go paste special by right clicking and going here, you can either go to paste options and you have right here, right here values, V, or you can also go to paste special and click on it and it'll give you a dialog box. And then you select values and then you hit OK and it, it recalculated it one last time, but now it's going to be locked in. And if you look at when I click on these, they're locked in in the formula bar just as numbers. And I'll escape to get out of that. But now you can see if I go over here, now you look, you have one, four, four, one, right? If I go over here and I add a new column, Notice it added the column, but it didn't recalculate all of this because it didn't update that formula and therefore those totals didn't change at all. And this is a little bit of a weird example to be using a random formula to generate a quantity because obviously that's not how it would be going. There are other examples I probably could have come up with that would have been better. In fact, I'll give you one other example real quick. Let's just say that I wanted a, another list of customer names over here for whatever reason. Instead of having to type all those names in there, I already have all the names over here, right? So I could go over here and I could just hit equals and I could click on that cell and then hit enter. And I now have her name copied over here via formula, right? If I click back in there and then get, get on my fill handle and double click, double click, Oh, it didn't want to copy them down. Okay, I'll click and drag down. Drag that formula down. 
it fills them all out the same as they are over in column B. Now the problem is if I go over to here, so we've got Claire at the last entry, right? If I change this to Steve and hit enter, it updates that there and makes it Steve. But let's say I wanted this list to be able to change actively, but I want this one to stay the same as the old list. So let's go Control Z real quick to put this back to the original. Then let's select this whole column and we'll do the same thing. We'll do, con we'll do copy and then we'll do paste special. And in this case, instead of going to paste special, I'm going to go paste as values and then escape to unselect it. And now when I go change this to Steve and hit enter, that stays as Claire. Okay, so maybe that's a little bit better example to show you why paste special is so valuable because you can use formulas to create lists or bring data in and then you copy and paste special as a value and then the formula is gone. So you did all the hard heavy lifting with the formula but now you just have solid data that's not tied to the source data. And again, if you haven't used this before, as you continue using Excel, you're going to start to see a lot of opportunities to use this, and you'll be really surprised at how much time and hassle it saves you. So I hope you'll start experimenting with that. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.